What is happening guys? I do and welcome to my channel. It's your boy Connected Five and I'm back again on the channel. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing quite well and healthy. So today, ladies, I'm dealing with you guys quite a lot. I've just done a video on the Nike Dunk High. They call the sale and gum. So you guys make sure you go check that out as well. That's for you ladies and also guys as well. Make sure, you know, for your missus as well, you want to, you know, buy her something for Christmas so she can like, so she can look nice and clean as well. So we've also got these dunks that are due to come out as well. These are called the Nike Dunk Law, the Achio Pink. These are quite a beautiful color, a very beautiful color. So I'll show you guys what I'm looking at in a couple of seconds. And before I continue guys, can I just prompt you, if you've not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification. And also guys, make sure you follow the link for my Instagram, which I'll leave down below so you can follow me over there. So we'll take our information from and so let's just get started. And bam, as you guys can see that you've got the Nike Dunk Law Silhouette, which comes with the leather uppers, and the sole that comes in that rubber plastic as well. So the uh, the overlays come in pink and also white as well. So it's called a it's got a, it's, got a, it's, it's called an acha. Eh, how do you pronounce that? It's a bit of a tongue twister. How do you pronounce that? It's called achaio, acha achaio, achaio pink. Um, I don't know what language that is. You know, if any of you guys know what that what language that is, please comment down below. Achaio or Achaio pink. That is quite weird, you know, but hey, it is what it is. We move. So the pink is a very dark sort of pink. It's um it's very subtle, it's not like a poppy sort of glowy pink, which is quite I like as well. Um and you've also got you know the white as well. It's a very simple colorway which works as well, you know. I think anyways. Then you also got the midsole that comes in that white and the bottom which comes in that same pink as well. The laces come in pink as well. Um I think, um, ladies, you can probably just change maybe one side and make it white if you want to, or either you can probably just uh, put on some lighter pink laces as well, just to sort of like, um, you know, give it like a more of a subtle look. But I mean, those laces should be fine to be fair. No complaints from me at all. So um, we'll talk about, I think, uh, what you can wear with this shoe. I won't try and make this a very long uh, video because it's a dead simple shoe. You know, it's a very simple colorway. So, um, I'd probably say you can wear like, uh, so I've got this, um, this is sort of like a, a lilac, a very like light lilac as well. You can probably like wear this, you know, um, this shoe with a lot of pastel colors. So think about like, you know, your whites, your sort of like butter creams, um, you know, um, pink as well is another thing to go for as well. And a lot of guys also wear pink as well nowadays. It doesn't mean anything at all, you know. I think pink has become a unisex color. So if I had a size in these, I think uh, probably in summertime, I'd probably wear them with some, chinos some brown chinos and maybe a, a pink polo shirt as well so yeah i do like this shoes quite a lot and um they're not like that very like yeah pinky obvious color because i'll show you on stock x um yeah let's go on stock x right so when you look at it on stock x there it looks as if it's sort of a red color so it's not like a, a, com a normal pink as such look at um look at patrick right so patrick you know he's obviously pink do you know what i mean Whereas this is more like a very sort of dark pink, a very rich pink. So it may sometimes, you know, seem as if it's like a red. So just be aware of that as well. So hence why I say like, you know, um, if you're a guy as well, you, you've, got a vo you've got a very small, you know, <laughs> very small feet. You can wear this shoe as well. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. But yeah, if you're a guy, you've got very small feet. Yeah, you can still, you know, uh, wear these shoes as well, guys. Um, so yeah, um... In terms of resale, like, you know what we're talking about. Okay, let's just go on. Uh, let's just say if you're the sell, let's just go there for reference. Hmm. So it's not going pretty great, is it? Now, with ladies' shoes, like, you know, they always sell, like, you know, better with the bigger sizes. The smaller sizes don't really sell that well, as you guys can see there. But, you know, you will not be getting a size 11, US, 12, not in the UK. Maybe in America, but not in the UK. So that's your trouble there. If you're a reseller and you've got clients that you know love pink, then you can buy these and resell them on to your clients as well and make that profit as well. But, you know, um, even then you won't even make that much money, to be fair. So I'll just say if you're a reseller, just maybe like, you know, just leave this one out. Um, but if you've got very good reselling skills, because Christmas time is coming as well, ladies might want to spoil themselves or moms might want to buy stuff for their daughters. If you're quite good in, you know, selling, then go for it, you know. I think it's worth it, definitely. 
So that brings me to the end of the video, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, or if, or if, you, or if you found this video very helpful in making decisions on how to resell, please make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Thank you guys for watching.